Hello, I am Petro from Gullian Technology. In this video, we will learn how to both disable and enable swap memory on a Linux system. So make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gullian.uk. Let's get started. If you want to see if swap memory is enabled on your machine or not, you need to run the command free. If you want to see a more human readable output, you can add the option dash H. As you can see, I have 3.8 gigabytes of RAM and at the same time I have 3.1 gigabytes of swap memory. Swap is a virtual memory which can be used in addition to the uh, physical memory, in addition to RAM. In case that an application or the system doesn't have enough physical memory, it can use swap memory to save the, the uh, application's data or the, uh, which is not currently used. So, in conclusion, swap is an additional memory that can, used, can be used by your Linux machine. In order to disable if you want to find more information about the type of swap that you have on your machine, you can run the command swap on dash dash show. We can see here that the type of the swap file, uh, the type of the swap that is used on this VM is file. You can use as a swap either a file or a partition from your hard disk. I used the file, the size of the file is 3.1 gigabytes and the name of the file is dash swap file. Let's check it here. You can see it is present on the uh, file system. If you want to disable the swap, you can use the command swap of dash a you need to run this command with sudo privileges you'll not be able to disable swap if you are a simple user i will run the command one more time with the sudo in front of it and now if, if we check the with the free command we can see that the swap memory was disabled you need to know that the swap memory was disabled only temporarily. If you reboot the machine, you will see that is swap is enabled once again. If you want to disable the swap memory uh, persistently, you need to edit the file slash etc slash fstab. Let's open this file. I will open it with the sudo privileges sudo vim slash etc slash fstab. In this file, we can see the uh, partitions that will be enabled at the boot time. The last line from this file is the swap memory. If you want to persistently disable the swap from your machine, you can comment this line or you can remove the line altogether. I will remove the file, the line, and I will save the file with colon X and I'll, I, I will exit from the file. Now the swap memory was disabled persistently. If I reboot my machine, let's reboot it, we will see that it was not enabled. Let's check this together. Let me enter my password. Let me open the terminal. And let's check if swap is enabled or not. The swap is not enabled because I edited the file slash etc slash fstab. Now let's, uh, I removed the line if you remember. I made a copy of that file before starting with this video. I will uh, copy the original file back 
in order to enable the swap memory. I will run the command sudo cp from copy slash etc slash fstab dash backup to etc dash fstab. I will add my password. I will confirm that the line is present in the fstab file, the swap file. The line with the swap is present, as you can see it is. And I will run the command swap on dash a. With this command, you will enable swap memory. As a big, this command is equivalent to the swap off uh, command. This means that the memory, the swap memory, will be enabled only um, temporarily. In order to run this command, of course, you need to be the to have uh, pseudo privileges. Now let's confirm if the swap memory was enabled. This time I will run the free command with the option dash "-m", to, to display the memory in megabytes. You can run it with dash "-g", also, if you want to display the memory in gigabytes, or the my preferred option is dash "-h", which display the output in a human-readable format. As you can see, the swap memory is enabled once again. This is all that I wanted to show you. And there you have it. You've successfully disabled and enabled swap, swap memory in your Linux machine. Thank you for watching this tutorial on managing swap memory in Linux. Remember to be cautious when disabling swap as it, as it can impact system stability if your RAM is insufficient. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more Linux tutorials. If you have any questions, questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Have a great day!